Today, Rotomel Rescue. What the heck went wrong? <laughs> Alright guys, so we just did had our Rotomel update the other day and After the tasting, we started talking about things and we noticed some other strange things happening. We realized there's kefir lime leaves in this brew. Lime leaves, bad. Well, they're not bad, they're just strong. And all we really did the last time was we added the rose petals in and I'm like, okay, this might be overpowered with lime leaves. So now it's Rotomel rescue time, which all I'm really gonna do is I'm gonna shake this up real good. We're gonna do a rough rack on it, get all those lime leaves out put everything back in and then we'll add some more rose petals simple right so those of you who are familiar with our rough rack process the reason why we do this the way we do this is we're not trying to remove the, the colony the colony of yeast from the brew we're just trying to remove the solid parts which in right. this case is primarily the Primarily the lime leaves, but there's no way we can get the lime leaves out and leave the rose yeah, in. There's, there's a strong smell to them. So we're just going to get all those solids out and then can add, you balance this so that I don't knock it over? add more rose. Here we go. <laughs> okay, now because I got the colony out, there's no lease in here. I'm gonna go rinse this guy out and get all the rest of the solids out of it. And that's why Brian shook it up real good before he poured because he wanted to get all the yeast that were in there back into solution so that way it would end up here and not here. Mm -hmm. All right, so. We had a little mini powwow. I was gonna do something and then she came up with a better way. We have found that pouring dry ingredients into a small mouth fermenter require, requires a dry funnel because if you have a wet funnel the dry ingredients are just going to stick to the sides there so we need to pour this into there but we also need to get those into there and this is our best funnel for both projects so i was going to pour this in and then put the funnel in and do that but then the funnel would be wet and she said no he was also going to just pour this in without the funnel and i'm like please don't do that <laughs> he probably could do it, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but I'd rather him use the funnel. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. I put the funnel on. Tear this out. These are. Oh, these smell so amazing. The organic rose petals. There'll be a link below. And uh, I'm gonna use. We put a half an ounce in last time. I think it needs a lot of rose flavor at this point. I'm just afraid of it smelling like grandma's perfume. I'm gonna do half an ounce, and then we'll test it. When I look at this, I say, you know, that seems like a lot of rose petals for that. Since there's already been some in there that have already got in. So I think we're good. Now, I don't really know. I'm going to test that theory and we'll see what it does. So, so some of you on. may have noticed that we had a chopstick out here and you're probably wondering what the heck was that for? Well, last time we poured in our rose petals, he just dumped them all in there and it clogged up the funnel so if you have a chopstick or a thin dowel or even a fondue stick you can poke in there and get the stuff to come out without getting it very skinny messy. fingers well I'm joking you don't really want to do that all right now i'm just going to pour this back in hopefully i can get it all back in there a trick to doing this if you hold the funnel totally straight you might create um, a seal. You don't want to do that. So I tilt the funnel just a little bit so air can get through, and that way it doesn't uh, blow up at me. If you're worried about aeration, don't be. There's plenty of CO2 coming off of this, and we're still technically in a primary fermentation here, so it's not really that bad of a problem. If we were closer to the end of fermentation, this well, would are, definitely we are, be... We are close to the end. I mean, it's not totally done done but it's yes I'm just saying if we were closer yeah. then this would be a serious mm. issue right now but I can also as I'm doing this on my hand feel the air being forced out of this pitcher by the gases and the volume of the uh, the brew it's pretty amazing kind of weird I didn't expect that all right so I got it all in there I want to try to get as much of this goop at the bottom as I can because that's kind of our colony ish all right 
And now, I need to shake this up a little bit. So let's get the airlock and bung. Do we still have, we have the thumb saver bung. This does a couple of things, okay? The air was forced out and you hear that? All that is gas coming out of this. It's totally forcing all the oxygen out. I wanna get that off this high. Yeah, there's, there's gas pushing the oxygen out. I'm really not worried about this at all. But what I am gonna do is put the airlock right back on. All right, so I'm gonna stick the airlock in here. Ugh. All right, we just wanted to appraise you guys of what was going on. This was just a short little quick video because we're full transparency here. If we mess up, we want you to know that we messed up. If we did something right, we want you to see that too. And I wanted you to know that we did change this. We realized that those Kefir lime leaves were a little overpowering. It's kind of a gingery taste, yeah. but it's different. It's a little off from ginger. So I still think this is gonna be really interesting. The chocolate mint and the, and the lime leaves, I think is what gave it that gingery weird flavor. Yeah, I said weird, that's right. It was a little bit weird. And now I think adding more rose petals in is just gonna bring the rose back out again. So this is what you do. When things don't go the way you want them to, you adjust. You adjust. It didn't become something bad, it just became something different. So now we're trying to, trying to correct that and get it to something that we would really like because I wanna be able to call this a rotomel, not a kefir lime amount. <laughs> anyway, as always, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye-bye.